Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode. This is Greg Finn, Camel River Guys Service, coming to you live from Lake Sam Raber here in Deep East Texas. And uh, I hope everybody's new 2019 year is starting off to a good start. And I want to tell you a little bit about what's happening here at Lake Sam Raber. And since I talked to you last time, our lake has come up about 13 feet. It's right now presently about 10 feet over pool level. So uh, it's made a little bit different, a little bit more challenges for us to catch these wintertime crappie. So I went out yesterday. I wanted to give you up the very latest. Uh, the water level has made it difficult to get underneath the 147 bridge, but I can still get underneath there. It's just a little challenging. And with this new Garmin panoptic live scope, uh, we were able to catch, uh, I guess, 21 crappie day before yesterday. And yesterday we caught about 30 to 35 crappie. They were all black crappie, nice crappie. So I want to give you a little, we shot a little video yesterday and I want to give you a little bit of what was happening uh, uh, yesterday and we had a good time. I had two friends of mine and I'll introduce those to you a little later uh, out there on the boat. But we had a good time and uh, again, it's another one of these videos where uh, we were in tight conditions but I was actually telling them when to lift up and catch the fish and uh, we had a real good time. We're catching minnows yesterday and about, you know, some of it was about 30 foot of water. Uh, other parts of it was about uh, 45 foot of water. But in this time of the year, the crappie were suspended. They weren't even around the concrete pilings or pillars. They were suspended uh, or down between 15 and 20 foot deep. So I think you're going to enjoy today's program. And I hope you sit back and relax. And, and we'll, we'll talk to you a little later. Okay, folks, this is Greg Finn, Camel River Guys Service, and I got my pan optics here. I got two guests here today. I got old Bill Sandell. Y'all met him before. He's the big man from Zavala, Texas. He can fish now, a good friend of mine. And we got John Cop from uh, Pennsylvania down here. That's right. Too cold up there to fish, lots of ice, so we bring him down here in God's country and let him fish a little bit. So don't think you don't think you can't drive a little bit, come fish with me. I think it, it might be worth it. We'll ask old John sometime if it's worth it or not. So anyway, you see all these fish. We're underneath the bridge, and as you know, I've told you Lake Sam Raver is about 10, a little over 10 feet high right now. And so <laughs> this pontoon will just barely get underneath this bridge. But take a look at this pan optics. You can see, all right, I want, Bill, I want you to just jig your, jig your, uh, there you go. See, Bill, jig that minnow right there. Stop, Bill. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up, Bill. Raise it up. Right there. Now, John, raise yours up, John. Look at those fish take a swipe at it, folks. You see that? Those are crappie. And uh, usually these uh, fish are hanging around these pillars. Uh underneath the bridge to support beams for the for the bridge itself but you see these big schools of shand what these crappie are doing is moving and they're moving with these shad and so they're suspended right now i'm in 23 feet of water i'm at the very end of the 147 bridge because most of it's in about 45 foot of water but but these fish are suspended. All right, I want y'all to go down. I don't know if those are those are crappie or bass, but there's some big ones. Y'all come down, come down, come down, stop. A little bit more. Stop. Come down, stop. Both of you got your jigging right there on the big fish. One of you going to get a bite right there. And it, it's probably a white bass. Could even be a black bass. And he's big. Look at him. Well, Bill got one. Y'all see him? I called that one. Work him in here, Bill. I want to see him. I believe he's a white bass. He could be a big crappie. He's a big crappie, folks. Look at this. 
You get that fish off and won't see it. Look, look at that, folks. That's a nice three quarter pound crappie. Now, these two right here are crappie. I'm, I'm actually just fishing one, two, three crappie at a time. And this is winter time fishing. You gotta do what you gotta do. But you come out here with me, if it's a real calm day, I can put you underneath this bridge and we can catch them. We're having a ball. You learn a lot about fish behavior with this. You'll learn more about what fish do when you get your own Garmin Panoptic Live Scope. Come on up here, Bill. You're not you're too deep on these fish. Come on, come on, come on, stop. You're gonna learn a lot about fish behavior with this deal. What we have learned, oh, I, I have learned, Oh, time out. You see a big school of shed right there? Look at these big bass coming in right behind it. Those are pretty good sized bass right there. You bass fishermen, look, you see how they bust them shed up? They went right in there. Those bass went right in there and, butt, and, and, and made a swoop in there and busted them shed. And that's some. Okay, back back to the pan up, back to uh, John there. You got, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh, he went after it and you didn't get him. You learn a lot about fish behavior on here. A lot of times, come on back down a little bit, Bill. Get him, get him, hit him, hit him, hit him right here, hit him. Come on, come on. When I get him, get him, hit him, hit him, hit him right here, hit him. Come on, come on. When I tell you hit him, hit him. See, let me tell you something. He had no idea that fish was on there. You see his crappie coming in here? He would never have found that. He would never known that. Look at that fish right there. He would have never known that fish was on if I hadn't told him. And even when I did tell him, he didn't believe me, did you, John? Tell the truth. Tell the truth. I didn't feel it. Yankee from Pennsylvania does not believe this old country boy right here. And that's pitiful. That's what's wrong with this country. <laughs> we having fun yet? Oh, love it, love it, love it. All right, Bill, let's get ready. <coughs> Come on, Bill, get that fish. You got one looking at it right there. Lay down, Bill, lay down, Bill, lay down, Bill. Ho! Oh. set that up, set that up, Bill. Ah, right, dang, bring him back down, Bill. Lay down. Right there, stop. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <coughs> Yeah, what we need is some more water. <laughs> Bill, you ought to have one on. He got one on me and didn't know it, folks. He got one on me and didn't know it, folks. He got one on me and didn't know it, folks. That's what I'm telling you. I don't know what he is. Let's see here. Big old crappie ain't, Bill. Don't hit the top, Bill. There you go. There's a nice little crappie. Nothing. Never felt nothing, Bill? Is that what you said? <laughs> see, folks, these things are lethargic this wintertime. You're not going to get that hard thump like we like, see? So this pen optics will tell you if the fish are on or not. I'm going to go back to an important point while ago I said. I can actually, I want to show you something. Who's, whose bait is that right Mine. there? That's yours? Okay, let it settle down, right? Just be still right there. I'm going to try to show you without getting my finger in the way. I'm going to come down from this way. Let me ease up here just a little bit. That's that's John right here. That's his. He has a minnow with a, that, with a weight above it. I want you to look at that. I can see that minnow swimming on that hook. On that two, two alt gold Aberdeen hook. Can you see that? Tell me that's not amazing. That's pretty cool. I, I told him two or three times this morning that they didn't, they was fishing on credit. They didn't have no minnow on their hook and they thought they did. They raised it up. They said, well, you're right. They're, you got a school coming up on you. I don't know what they are. They're big. Somebody fix get a bite. Both of you probably get one right here. Watch your rods. You sure you ain't got a fish on? Mm -mm. You sure? 
Raise it up. Don't tell me you ain't got a fish. He he had it on. He was on. What do you think about that, folks? Look at that. Yes, sir. Old Bill caught that crappie, but I'm taking credit for it. <laughs> 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 this is gonna cost these boys a seafood buffet. All you can eat dinner tonight, I guarantee you. <laughs> you're my here. I think here comes like, oh, here comes an interested passenger. One of you, one of you get one right there. Come on, Bill, bring him in here. I done told you. I told you. Crappie, Bill. Nice crappie. Uh, uh, John, come on down. All right, no, 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 stop. Hit him. Hit him. Now, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Camel River Guys Service, the in action right there, folks. I want you to look at this big old crappie right here. Don't you lose that crappie. I want you to look at this crappie. Look at this crappie. This crappie here weighs a pound and a half at least. Maybe a pound and three quarters. <laughs> Woo! I love it, I love it, I love it. Are we having a good time or what? You get that thing off there, you swing around here and let me look at him. Let the folks back home look at that crappie right there, folks. I'll take your picture of that, John. We'll take it later on. That's a nice Pretty nice one. They ain't got nothing like that in Pennsylvania, do they? Somebody's gonna get one right here in the next five seconds. One, two, three. Raise up, John. Ah, dang, I told him. Didn't he get the three? Right there. Come on, Bill. Bring him in here. I done told you. I told you. Crappie, Bill. Nice crappie. That's, that is, that's a big one. That's a nice crappie right there. See that, folks? That's how it's done right there. Bring that fish in here. All right. You getting ready, John? John? John, you got one on there. I know you ain't yet. You ain't yet. Hit him, John. You got him. I'm telling you, you got one on. Put it back down. You ain't got one. I see the belly full of eggs. Hit him, John, hit him. He got one on in. I told you. Bring that fish in here. That's the value of this pan optic. Watch these fish actually hit this minute. Man, it ain't nothing like it. So that's how fishing is here on Lake Sam Raven right now. Now you gotta understand the water level is starting to come back down and it won't be just a couple of months to we'll see it all back to normal again. This is not unusual for Lake Sam Raven, Corps of Engineer Lake. This lake was built for uh, flood control for people down below. So lots of times they'll hold the water and let it get bigger, uh, more and more water in it and then they start to let it go. So don't think that we're having a flood down here or anything unusual. Uh, it is a little unusual. Last time we had this situation was back in 2015, but it's still fishable. Bass fishing is good. Crappie fish is good. Don't let it stop you at all from coming to Lake Sam Rayburn. Uh, no matter what you've heard, we just had an FLW tournament here uh, last weekend. And it took nearly 80 pounds to win it. Uh, one, the winner who won the thing, uh, his one day catch was 20 over 29 pounds. Five fish weigh 29 pounds. So fishing is Fish is uh, good, it's just you just got to make an adjustment. And that's what we do in fishing, isn't it? We always are making an adjustment, trying to get those fish to bite. Now I want to let you know, this year, what you can expect from me. This year, we're going to do a lot of crappie uh, uh, videotaping. We're going to do some bass videotaping. I'm even going to do some bluegill videotaping for some of y'all out there. We're going to show different facets of fishing here. And again, uh, if you'd like to do a guide trip with me, come on now, CamelRiverGuysService.com. I've got a cottage for you to stay in while you're here. You'll have a good time. 
Listen, I really appreciate all the support from you subscribers out there and uh, watching my videos. It's been a little bit, a few weeks here making adjustments going into the new year since you've seen me do the last video. But I'm going to try to get one out pretty regular for the rest of the year. So stay tuned. We'll have a good time. Come see me. Love to take you fishing. And until next video comes out, I want you to know I really appreciate it. Get out there and do a little fishing with you and your family. You'll have a good time. This is Greg Finn. See you next time.